Right, here we are at Alert CLYT uh, in the Mission Smith 109. Right, to start it, go inside, close the canopy, and the first thing to do is go to the tablet, go to the workshop, and check that your gear and everything else is okay. If it's not, then repair it. Um, you will find no matter how good your landings the gear gets broken very regularly um, from there go to load out and check whether you want long medium or short range today just short range All right close that right from that point then we can go down and set the radiator uh, now this is what works for me I don't know if it's right or not I think it is but my German is appalling um, so but I think down down there I've done long flights and never over, overheated the engine in these settings other settings another matter right having done that we can now put the battery on so down to the battery and pull the battery put it on uh, from there up to the circuit breakers and first and last on the top row and one and two on the second row across to the other side and prime engine right, right. pump it needs more here because it's cold uh, there is also a winter start which here I suspect is going to be absolutely necessary. So use that. Um, then there is a red uh, button here, fuel valve. That needs to be fully open. So push that all the way forwards and then go to the magnetos, the mags, and push all the way to the top. Right, once they're at the top, We can now go up here and there is the red button there which we then need to use to um, start the engine. Press that in and hold it in as the revs come up. Um, while it's doing that make sure that your brakes are on crack the throttles a little and then under the cover and start the engine good start right yep sounds good keep an eye on the fouling if it's high then straight away clear it we'll need to do it again before we take off that is essential next go to prop control which is down on the throttle section here and click on that until it reads manual now go across and look on the other side here there is like a clock face here and you need to move your prop pitch until it is about midday on it about that's it that's where it needs to be for takeoff so that goes there um, we now need to go and look at the trim and move the forward trim nose down to the setting of one on the on the on the little dial there and one stage of Flat. Next we can go across and push all the remaining circuit breakers in. Give you the rest of your instruments and so on. And we are ready for taxi. So on the left hand side you've got a towel wheel. Now this is worth having this mapped to a button somewhere on your controller so you can move it to tight or loose um, starting here we need it loose 
so brakes off and a bit of throttle get them moving and then it's a matter of using power and differential braking Say it's being an absolute sod. Right. Now we've got a taxi to the end of the runway. And while doing that, it's advisable to lock. and then just use brakes to pull it in the right way a bit fast At this point I've just taken the tail wheel lock off because we need to turn and then enough speed ease around, play with the throttle and the brakes the rubber and you should get it lined up ah, reasonably well on the runway. Side. Right, for takeoff, go and use this to clean the plugs. You will not be able to have enough power to take off if it's more than probably 8 or 10% fouled. And you want as much power as you can get. take off use the stick hard to the right keeping about neutral position and you've already set your trim and your flaps off the brakes slowly feed the power in if you do it quickly it will bite right and now oh lock the towel wheel Now start your takeoff run slowly, feeding the power in gently. As the nose will come up, bring her off to the ground. As soon as you're up, gear up. Right. Gear is 
speed's up. Speed's coming up. Flaps up. And then go to the control prop to manual and click on that to send it to automatic. And you'll notice the clock face has changed from 12 o'clock and that will keep moving for the rest of the flight as it, as it needs to be. If you run her on full throttle, you will blow the engine up. Uh, oh, and go down to the radiator and move it to the top, which I think is auto, and that's where it needs to be, I think. Right. All we've got to do now... get around and land The other thing which I forgot to mention is obviously set the trim. I put it normally back to to zero uh, and then adjust it as you need for the flight. This is a very very short flight so I'm not going to use it much. Now ease the power off. She slows down quite quickly uh, when you take power off. Speed down to about 300. Stage of flat. We're horribly high. But we've got time. Another stage of flat. Um, under 300, you can bring the gear down.
I find it easier to come in a little bit high than low because that way you can lower the nose and see a little bit more about what you're doing uh, and again it's I find it easier to come in probably a little bit faster than you're supposed to um, start your round out a little bit earlier play with the power but now fending it a little bit low Long. Keep the runway as much in view as you can. Over the runway. Power off. And then gently hold her off until she's on the ground. Stick back. And remember, you've got tail wheel lock on, so if you want to turn. Release the tail wheel so you can move on the ground to where you want to go. And stop. Brakes on and to stop the engine there is a engine stop button there pull that and it stops at that point it's really a matter of just closing all these up should have done that earlier tail wheel is loose and go and see if you've wrecked the gear no it's good for the next trip and that is it